Welcome to the new business cast for Thursday, May 24th, 2018. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes. The Artisan Village was officially opened at its new location at Pinney's Estate today, Thursday, May 24th, following a steel pan prelude opening prayer and the singing of the national anthem. Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, John Handley, gave the opening remarks and project overview. The current location was chosen as a new site because it had advantages of more accessible, of being more accessible to visitors, and it also had the distinct advantage of forging synergies with the Nevis Craft House, where visitors can experience artisans working live as they manufacture local furniture and souvenirs. Phase two expansion work com commenced in 2015, which involved the reciting of the original units, fencing, four additional units, cafeteria, bathroom, parking lot, walkways, and landscaping. Phase three, expansion of the Snacket, gazebo area to sit and relax, and the covered stage band on which uh, that you are looking at at the moment, a focal, which is a focal point for performing arts expression and entertainment of our visitors. The estimated overall cost to date for the project, based on the information I've received, is an investment to the Nevis Island administration of approximately 1.5 million EC. Premier and Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Mark Brantley, noted that today is a significant day for Nevis and he described the opening of the Artisan Village as an auspicious occasion for the Ministry of Tourism in particular. I feel that the artisans who are here ought to recognize that this has been a significant investment in them. What we tried to do here was to create a venue, a destination. What we tried to do was to create something where our own people can come, relax, enjoy themselves, browse, eat, shop, and really have an experience for the entire family. So we're very happy that we have been able to create here with these chattel houses, now this beautiful stage, a gazebo, restaurants, snacks, all kinds of things local. And I would want those of you who are here for the opening, please don't just come and leave, but please go and visit the various shops. You'll be amazed at the quality of products that are being generated right here in Nevis. The vote of thanks was given by Artisan Village Team Representative Lydia Lawrence of the Ministry of Tourism. Entertainment for the day included a poetic presentation by Adela Francis Mead, steel pan renditions by the Charleston Primary School Steel Orchestra, and a treasure hunt coordinated by the Artisan Village Vendors Association. Today's opening also included a first of its kind secondary school's culinary competition. Teams of three students from each of the island's secondary schools were given two and a half hours to prepare a two-course meal, an entree, and a dessert. A mystery basket was also provided from which the students were required to prepare the entree, which should have been comprised of a protein, a starch, and vegetable. Plantain was the featured vegetable, as it will be the vegetable of choice for Restaurant Week 2018. Plantain had to be used in either the protein, starch, or vegetable. The dessert which the students were required to prepare before today's competition was also expected to contain plantain as its main ingredient. The dessert was required to be on display with the recipe and method of preparation. The students were judged on presentation, taste and originality. Winning the Ministry of Tourism's first secondary school's culinary competition and the Golden Pot Trophy was the Nevis International Secondary School represented by Ebony Lybird, Bright Eye Brown and Chantel Brown with 245 points. NISS also won the awards for the best main course and the most creative dish. Charleston Secondary School, represented by Azalea Jeffers, Unique Thompson, and Shania Taylor, placed the second with 220 points. CSS also won the award for the best dessert. Gingerland Secondary School, represented by Janessa Keynes, Shakia Daniel, and Nicholas Asaju, placed the third with 200 points. The major sponsors of the competition were the Honorable Mark Brantley, the Honorable Spencer Brand, the Honorable Eric Evelyn, the Honorable Troy Lybird, TDC St. Kitts and the Nevis, Courts St. Kitts and the Nevis, the Department of Agriculture, Best Buy Supermarket, 
Food Center and McLevin Trust of A1 Farms. Prime Minister of St. Kitts and the Nevis, the Honorable Dr. Timothy Harris, met with the Nevis Division of the Royal St. Christopher and the Nevis Police Force on Wednesday, May 23rd, to hear their views and opinions on the operations of the force. In delivering remarks to the police officers, Prime Minister Harris noted that policing is a 24-hour job. I grew up in a family with two police officers who had achieved at least senior ranks, sergeant, inspector, etc. And I always heard them said to my father, police officer is always on call. It means that in the communities in which you go, you continue to be the eyes and the ears of law enforcement. When you go to the supermarket, you are the eyes and ears of law enforcement. When you go to the park, you are the eyes and ears of, the super, of law enforcement and so there really is no off time. That is how police achieve effectiveness everywhere. The Minister of National Security said the public should be able to distinguish police officers from civilians. What makes you different from the teacher? What makes you different than the person selling in the supermarket or working anywhere else in government? Do they see the same thing that you see? Do they do the same thing that you do? Is there a level of awareness the same as yours? If they are, then we don't need you. If they are, they don't need you. Because one would believe that your training should make you more alert more aware of surroundings, of people, of things, of shapes and fashion than the ordinary civilian. And it comes again to practice. Prime Minister and Minister of National Security, the Honorable Dr. Timothy Harris. Still to come. Some of the most brilliant ideas for tourism have come from the Tourism Youth Congress, which have impressed not only us here in Nevis, but as I've said, have impressed the rest of us in the Caribbean. We'll give you the details after this break. Hello, my name is Culturama, the Caribbean's greatest summer line. Most islands have their festival, I don't know what they call it, Carnival. With all those shows, we fed and fun, we party from sun up to sundown. Everybody come now, show the world what we mean when we talk about Culturama. Welcome back. Premier of Nevis and Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Mark Brantley, says persons on the island should see tourism as a service. Many people try to see tourism as servitude. They say, oh, I'm making people's beds. Oh, I'm bringing food to people on a plate. I want you to see tourism as service. And whether you are a lawyer, whether you are a doctor, an accountant, whether you are in housekeeping, landscaping, whatever it is you choose to do with your life, it is all about a level of service that you render. That is what will make you excellent or make you less than excellent. And Nevis, our beautiful island, has consistently had the mark of excellence because of the quality of our service. The Minister of Tourism was speaking at the recently held Bank of Nevis sponsored Tourism Youth Congress, which took place late last week at the Nevis Performing Arts Center as part of Exposition Nevis. Minister Bantley also thanked the Bank of Nevis Limited for sponsoring the event year after year and they encouraged the students to give of their best. So I encourage you to give of your best and to allow Nevis to harness your ideas and your energy. Some of the most brilliant ideas for tourism have come from the Tourism Youth Congress, which have impressed not only us here in Nevis, but as I've said, have impressed the rest of us in the Caribbean. 
Charleston Secondary Schools Ricardo Rodriguez and Michael Meloni placed first and second respectively, while Elisa Thomas of the Nevis International Secondary School placed the third. Exposition Nevis's month of activities will conclude on Saturday, May 26th, with the Tourism Awards Gala at the Four Seasons Resort, Nevis. And finally... I just want to say how happy I am as the Minister that we will be having this meet on Nevis. Minister of Youth and Sports, the Honorable Eric Evelyn, says it is fantastic news for the island that the St. Kitts and the Nevis Amateur Athletic Association, SKNAAA, will be hosting its 2018 club championships at the Nevis Athletics Stadium on Sunday, May 27th. This is great news for athletics and Nevis. It's great news for the Nevis Athletic Stadium and it's great news for the um, athletic loving public on Nevis and all of Nevis as a matter of fact. I was very happy and very delighted when Mr. Henry and members of his executive met with me about a week and a half ago. We would have discussed the idea of having the Simkits Nevis Club Championships here in Nevis. Of course, I would have given the commitment from then and uh, just after that meeting, I went into cabinet. I would have discussed it at the cabinet level and the entire cabinet was in agreement that we should partner with the SKN AAA to host this event. Minister Evelyn is appealing to the public to attend the meet and support the athletes. Um, when the um, Titans Club hosted the, the relays a couple of weeks ago, I believe that was an excellent prelude to what we will see for the club championships. Um, on the 27th of May, and so I would like to take this opportunity to invite all of Nevis and St. Kitts, of course. And as I said, I will be, believe it will be a quality meet when we can see the great talent that we have here in St. Kitts and Nevis, the uncapped talent that we have here in St. Kitts and Nevis. And we want, when these athletes go to the track, um, that we want persons to be there to encourage, to support, to cheer them on. And of course, it's a giveaway price of only $15. And so we are expecting that um, come the 27th of May that the Nevis Athletic Stadium will be filled to capacity just as it was for the primary school championships. And as I said, I believe this augurs well for the development of the sports in St. Kitts and Nevis. And we are looking forward to um, this being a springboard to having more national, regional, and international meets here on Nevis. SK and AAA executive member Sherman Keynes is the chairperson of the committee that is organizing Sunday's club championships. According to Keynes, nine track clubs, six from St. Kitts and three from Nevis have registered to participate in the highly anticipated meets. This event will encompass all the top athletes in the federation, the best from Nevis Inter High, the best from St. Kitts High, the best from the primary school championship. You will see all the top athletes. So I know everyone enjoyed primary school championship. Everyone enjoyed inter school. Now you have the top athletes from both these championships along with all the athletes competing. So where people realize the magnitude of the championship. Also with the our new track, the track is very fast. So I know a championship day times will be produced are running the speed will never um, have never been seen in Nevis. So if you love track and field, you don't want to miss this meet. It's guaranteed performance that we have never seen in Nevis before. The meet is set to commence at 1 p.m. on Sunday, May 27th. The admission for adults is $15 and children younger than 12 years, $5. Spectators who wish to park their vehicles inside the venue will have to pay an additional $5. Vendors registration remains open at the Department of Youth and Sports. The vendor's registration fee is $150. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, thank you for viewing. I'm Donna Wilkinson-Kains.